living through terrifying times, it's not a secret. And everybody's looking for a schus, a source of merit for themselves and for Allah Klai. So everybody wants to do something big. The Pasuk tells us about times like this. Leich ami My nation, go into your rooms. Lock the doors. Chavi, kemat, rega, the Navi says. Wait there for a moment, adyavar zam, until the Rabban Shalom's wrath, the anger passes by. What does that mean, going to your rooms, lock your rooms? Locking a room is going to help or not help? The Rabban Shalom's wrath is a missile attack and you need a sealed room? Of course, that's not what it means. I heard from my rabbi that b'chad means, when it says your rooms, it means you go into someone's house and it looks very nice and everything's very clean and everything's perfect. But you go into their bedroom, that's a private spot, it doesn't always look the same as the rest of the house. It's more intimate, it's more private, it's more a reflection of the real person. The rest of the house is what you show other people, and the room, when you close the door, that's you. That's your private place. Every single person has their room, has their private spot in Avaida, in Ruchnius, the place that's really them. I once had the opportunity to set a, a good convention, and there was a speech for therapists by a therapist, and I'm not a therapist, and I wasn't meant to be there. But I walked into the wrong room, and I, I left, but not right away. I stayed just for a little bit to hear a little bit of what he was saying, even though I shouldn't have been there. The therapist was speaking was just after COVID, and he was saying that he dealt with a couple, and the husband decided they're going through a rough time. COVID was challenging, it was stressful, they were newly married, and he was extremely stoic and courageous and tough. He said, I have to put up a tough face for my wife. I told her, it's okay, nothing's wrong, we're going to be okay, be strong. And he said, my marriage was terrible, I went through a very, very, very bad time. One day, the husband couldn't deal with all the pressure, everything he was keeping inside, and he burst into tears. He was just very scared. And his wife lit up. She was like, that's the person. Thank you, that's who I married. The marriage got much better after he cried. The things that he had been holding back from his wife, thinking that that's going to hurt, it was really what she was waiting for. She wanted to see him. The stoicism and the courage was very nice, but it wasn't him, and the tears were him. So this therapist was saying, in order to be successful in a marriage, a person has to let the spouse see themselves, even their vulnerabilities. Chadarecha means the place that's really us. We do a lot of things. You walk out of shul in the morning, you say Tehillim, and you say Achenu with Kavana, and everybody does. And you send money to Eretz Yisrael, and you send sitzes, and whatever you're doing is all holy. But a lot of times we're just doing it, we're not really putting ourselves into it because we're distracted, because so much is going on. Everybody's got to find that place that only they know about and give that to the Ben Shalom. No one knows what goes on in another person's mind and heart and shmir and I'm watching one's eyes is the ultimate battle scar that one takes of the Ben Shalom that nobody else knows it's personal, but it's so real, it's so genuine, it's so authentic. It's Chadarecha, it's one of the closed rooms of a person that only the Ben Shalom sees. Hang out there a little bit. Hang out in that area where you create schism. That way, Adi Avadam and Tet will push away the anger.